Hey everybody, how you doing? And let's welcome Dero, Denise Robles. How are you doing today, Denise? Good. Yeah, you're in isolation over there, huh? Yes. Well, you in know we're here. Bubble. Oh, you're doing what? In my little bubble. Your bubble? Good. You stay in that vegan bubble. We like that. Yeah. <laughs> Drinking your vegan cocktails, right? Making sure. I wish. <laughs> yeah. Are you all are you all out of vegan cocktails? Pretty <laughs> oh, much. Damn yeah. it. Time to make a run. I know. <laughs> I know. It's scary out there though. Yeah. Well, just be careful out there. That like everybody. I right? know. Well, let's I talk know. about the show. You had a chance to see the show. And uh, mm -hmm. you know, just in at the first thing, I think I had told everybody when you're in the show, I said, Hey guys, this is like when they make sausage you know, vegan sausage for you, of course. It doesn't look pretty as you make it, but once it's done, it's not so bad, right? So Very how did you feel when you, when you saw the show? What, were you tripping out when you saw yourself on TV? How'd you feel? A little bit. It was kind of weird. It was embarrassing. I was yeah. like super embarrassed and I kept going back and forth whether I wanted to watch it or not, but then yeah. I just watched it. But yeah. it was cool to like watch everyone else, I think, more than anything, because I think like when you're in it, you're so like focused. And I didn't even really know like what Ronnie and Jessica had done. So like watching the show and watching what they did, like that was really cool. Yeah. I think I was more excited about that. Like for me, I was tripping out that like, like, like hairdressers actually got like time on TV. Like that was the really cool part. Like not for myself, but just in general for people to like see that. That was really cool. See what we do, right? Yeah. I think that was like what I was stoked about. But you were smooth, was, like when you were doing hair and you were doing application and you were curling iron and blow drying, your technique was really smooth. You did a great job. I think it was just hard because I don't, people don't know, your model canceled on you at the last minute. Yeah. And did you have a makeup artist lined up as well or were, were you always gonna No, no, I was always gonna do my own makeup. But I think for me, like with that model specific, what was like the most unexpected thing that I didn't plan for was the fact that she had such like bad color in her hair beforehand. Yeah. Like had it been someone that I like had done in the past or like I knew what their color process was beforehand, I would have been more prepared. But I think in like the, the show, you don't see like how sh like my foils were like running with water and stuff mm -hmm. because she had like all this other dye in her hair. So that was like, the biggest thing for me it's kind of what happens in real life in the salon sometimes huh yeah but you yeah it was more of happen. like a color correction that i wasn't planning on being a color correction you know like yeah. i think i had mindset from like just pictures just like planning like oh okay this is what i'm gonna do and then going in and being like oh crap this is way more than i would have thought in two hours two and a half hours that was just not you did happen. a great job though you pulled it off were you pretty impressed with your that you bared down and did it how'd you feel about that i think i think you should be proud of it for sure I was happy. I was super happy at the end of it. I felt like a, like I had like, I don't know. I felt like it was like state board all over again. Like I felt like that kind of like excitement and pressure. And like, I feel like at the end of it, I felt like, Oh good. Like it's, I felt good about it. So I think I hadn't had that like exciting feeling since then, since like state board. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's weird when you have the cameras right there. I know. know that was you had the judges. How did you feel? For example, when the judges were like, you know, looking at your work and right there on you, how did you feel? You know, it's funny because I feel like when I was an assistant, I had really, um, like, how would you say it? Like really critical mentors. Oh. So I think that like that prepared me for this, <laughs> you know, yeah. like I feel like when I worked and when I started at the salon, when I was like first starting out, like everything I did was like criticized. And in a way I'm grateful because it's like, they, it came from a good place, you know? And I think as a hairdresser, that's like the hardest thing is that you have to accept like that you're going to mess up or like people, like you might really like something, but somebody else might see it and find a flaw in it. And it's like, oh, okay. Like, you know, it's like, you have to just learn as an artist to like accept criticism is like these people know more than you and they're telling you because they see something, see something that maybe you don't. And it's like, it just opens your eyes. So I appreciate the criticism and um, I feel like they were just doing their job. So it was cool. I mean, I was okay with it. I don't think it like messed me up too bad. I think what messed me up more was what was going on with the hair more than anything. I don't right. think 
Well, it's, 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 it's kind of gnarly because, I mean, you, your mom didn't show up. And then we just pulled someone out of the warehouse that yeah. you've never met in your life, ever. Yeah. And you just said, you know what? I'm just going to go for it. So that was pretty awesome that you did that. I really yeah. appreciate it. I mean, that was probably the true test. Do you feel like you learned anything from the experience? Do you feel like it, it helped you or changed you in any way? I think just like in ge- like I think the biggest lesson of it all was just like to be more prepared, you know? Yeah. I feel like I should have been more prepared for this. Um I should have planned for it better, but it is what it is. I think I don't think I would have changed anything honestly. Like I think um I think what needed to happen happened and um I think for me like the best part about it was just seeing um, Natalia, right? That was her name? Yeah, Natalia, yes. Natalia. I think the best thing was just seeing like her light up at the end of it and just yeah. seeing like her transformation. And for me, that was like the best feeling in the world. Like that was just the best thing ever. So I'm grateful that I had the opportunity. I'm glad that like she got to experience that. And I, I remember like at the beginning of it, asking her, you know, what she wanted. And she was like, well, I really like your hair, you know? And she, and so that was just kind of like my thing. Like, okay, like, Maybe I don't win this, but at least like I'm gonna give her like the best hair ever, the best you know. Yeah. Make yeah. everybody kind of say um, it's almost as though you kind of created your look. On yeah. Her. Yeah. That's and I think from. that's kind of like what what saved me was that I knew I didn't have a lot of time, and I knew I didn't have like I just couldn't think outside of the box, and I think that was something that. I just kind of have learned from the past that just go like with your gut, like go with your instinct and don't try new things. Like if you don't feel comfortable. So I think like in that moment I was just like in survival mode and I was just like, okay, what's comfortable for me. And like, I knew that that was something that she wanted to go for. So that was like, okay, like I can do this. I know what I'm doing, you know? So the makeup part was easy and the styling was easy. Cause it's just something that I really do a lot. So that saved my butt. Yeah, it was it was good. I really liked her before and after. I think it was it was a great transformation. And I don't think you know, I have enough courage yet to like go in there and shave things and make bright colors and stuff. I don't think I I could do that. Well, that's not necessarily why you win. <laughs> it's all about technique, first off, right? And then yeah. the hard part though that you you almost have to prepare for, and now you know this, is the photo shoot, right? Tell us about the photo yeah. shoot. Yeah. I was not ready for that at all. I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've ever done a photo shoot before other than like on my phone in the salon, you know? Sure. Um, that's a so, lot of, that's a lot of stylists there. They don't have that. I think that was, the, that was the one thing that I was not prepared for at all, at all. And I don't think she was how prepared feel, for it either. Is that where you felt the most pressure do you think when you were trying to get the looks and everything? I think so. So, and I think that's the most frustrating part about hair in general, because it's like, we do hair, you know, like we do hair and I can do makeup and all that. But at the end of the day, like we can't make what like you see in real life, like come through in pictures, you know, like that's the hardest part. And that's like, like, I think you don't appreciate like, like when you see a picture and and you can see how beautiful the hair is and the makeup and everything. Like you don't appreciate how hard that is, you know? So I think it was frustrating seeing how, how she looked in person and then looking at the pictures and just seeing like, Oh my God, like how can I make these pictures look like she looks in person? You know what I mean? So that's hard. Like how does it translate to the camera? And after that, I know you would have done better. You would have known more. You would have been ready more. And I think yeah. that's what people in the next season need to learn is that guys yeah. practice on the doll hair, get your model, yeah. know your model, work some photos, right? Like even with yeah. your camera on your phone. Get I think we only had like 10 minutes or something yeah, to do the photo shoot. You gotta be ready, right? Yeah. So I think like even just, I'm sure as someone being the model, like it takes at least five or 10 minutes to warm up to feel comfortable in front of the camera. So mm-hmm. that was really hard. Cause I think, um, like the judges were getting frustrated because it's like I don't know it was just hard to get the hair to look good in the pictures you know so I don't know it was frustrating but it's a I think in the skill. end it was, it was good it, it they got some good pictures so yeah we did and she's never modeled in her life she just 
you've never met her. Yeah. I think you should yeah. be really proud of what you did because that was tough. Not everybody could have done what you did. You know that. Thanks. Yeah. Well, I know <laughs> when you guys were getting nervous, and I said this to pretty much everybody, you know, I would tease you a little bit, break the tension, yeah. you know, yeah. because, you know, I was like, sometimes you guys were like, ah, oh, just so I like know. tense. And I go over and tease you, mess with you or whatever. Did that help you? Like just breaking that tension, get you out of your, out of your, your crazy focus where you're stressing out? Um, honestly, I don't think, I think the only thing that was stressing me out the entire time was the, like the clock. Like, I don't, oh. I don't know. Like, I think just talking to her, like, I think me and her, we were just talking about just like a regular day in the salon. So I don't think I was nervous about that part. I don't feel like there was any tension. I think it was just more of like, um, the time. Yeah. I think once I got into like the hair mode, I was fine. Like it was cool. Yeah. It was fun. I enjoyed all of it. I just think that the hardest part was just counting it down, you know? Cause I feel like in the salon, that's how it is, you know, like yeah, it is. your owner will walk over to you and like, you know, you feel the pressure. It's like, I feel like pressure in a salon, it's a normal thing. So I don't think that, I don't know, at least for me, like, I don't, think that that like I think at the end of the day the one thing that puts pressure on you is just the freaking hair you know okay. like the hair at the time and you know making it work well it's funny because you know Alan Edwards which was one of the judges he's a super cool guy you know and yeah. he really did say to you hey your hands you know he was he was watching your hands and he said your hands are talented you you know how to move I mean, yeah. I don't know if you remember he said that. Yeah, he thanks. He was saying that a lot. He said, you know what, Denise, he goes, and this is more off camera, we can show that, but yeah. he said, you really know how to move. You really, you have a touch, you're in touch with the hair. You're a great yeah. hairdresser. It just thanks. that we put you in a weird situation. And I yeah. think you did fantastic. Absolutely. Thank incredible. you. I mean, I don't, a lot of people wouldn't even have, they would have just given up, but you went for it. And I think that that's, something that says a lot about you as a person, you know, and I think that your clients that see your, the show probably realize how amazing you are, that you don't let them down. You're there for them. And you put in the extra mile, no matter what it takes. Right. Thanks. Yeah. I am grateful for my clients though, because I have been put in a lot of situations where I had to correct color and I had like to fix a lot of crazy stuff. But in the end, like I'm grateful because it's like, you have to mess up over and over and over to like, get it right so i'm glad that i've had all those experiences that kind of prepared me yeah. for this situation so so now uh question is how do you feel the judging was did you feel they're pretty fair with you how, how do you feel about what they said and you know the way you were judged what did you feel about that i think i think so like i mean um it is what it is like i think that um all the hairdressers that participated, like everyone did, I think their best. Um, I respect the judges, you know, they have a lot of experience and I know that like they, I know they know what they're talking about. So at the same time though, like people have asked me that too. Like, how did you feel about the judges? Like, did it hurt your feelings or whatever it was? And honestly, no, because like what I've learned from other hairdressers in the past is like the only thing that you have to like try to be better than yourself you know like you can't like everyone's gonna have their own opinion you know so it, that's like their own opinion and um it is what it is like you know I just have to do my best and yeah. if they saw that you know Jessica did a better job then I agree with them you know I think she's a great hairdresser I don't disagree I think we're all very good hairdressers I think maybe she did you know more with her model and that's you know why she won that's fine you know I don't disagree with them I'm not like upset about it I respect them I you know I feel grateful that I was in a position for them to criticize me and to I take that criticism you know to try to better my craft so I don't I don't really like feel anything that's good negative. well I think I feel like you <laughs> took the criticism very well they really were real nice to you I know they really try to get in there and give you as much advice as possible. That's how our judges are. They're pretty, they're pretty yeah. kind. Yeah. I love Dennis. He's my favorite. Yeah. Dennis is a sweetheart, isn't he? Yeah. And he's yeah. just a wealth of information. Um, I'm very grateful. Was, I mean, you, I, I believe, I'm pretty sure you came in second place. So 
I mean, that's, you got to be proud with that. I mean, your technique was fantastic. I think it's just that we couldn't, like you say, translate the look to camera. And that's where I just yeah. lost a few points. Um, but like I say, if people were- Well, really I know like still, Alan really wanted to see haircutting and I- I know. Like that's something that like I regret, like I kind of regret not having a model that I could have really cut because I feel like I really enjoy cutting mm -hmm. short haircuts or like, you know, like I feel like I could have really given what he wanted to see. It's just, I didn't have the model to do it, you know? Right. So that was well, kind of an annoying because I feel like my haircut was such a basic long layer haircut that I do every single day, you know? Right. So it's like, even in the salon, those things don't excite me. It's like when I do a pixie or I do a... Uh, Bob, you know, like those things excite me. So I wish I could have done that. It's just, I wasn't about to do that to her. You know, she didn't oh, want me yeah. to cut her she hair off. Ready. So I mean, it was good, nice of her to even volunteer. She didn't know it. Exactly. She's at work. She shows up to work and she goes, Hey, you want to be on a TV show? She's like, all yeah. right. So yeah. you know, next season, definitely people need to realize, make sure your model is going to be, and you practice. And now the model that you did have chosen, I, did, I didn't even ask you this. What were you going to do with that look? What was your original plan for your original model that didn't show up? What was your look? Honestly, I don't really remember, but I feel like, I feel like it wouldn't have been anything crazy either. Um, the only advantage I would have had is that she was a makeup artist herself. So she was oh. going to be doing her own. Oh, that's probably why you were thinking I had a makeup artist. Yeah. So I think that was the only advantage I would have had that she would have been able to do her own makeup while I would have been able to do more with her hair. Yeah, so. I think the people that have the best chance of winning, though, are people that have a concept coming in, yeah. like a like yeah. standout th uh, theme. And I don't think that you realize that when you went in. So yeah, I don't think I realized. Show. I think because there hadn't, I hadn't seen uh, like an example of it. I really didn't know like what to base my whole plan on, honestly. Mm -hmm. Sure. So I think seeing like the other episodes and stuff, it kind of opened my mind to like, oh, okay, I could yeah. have done something like this, or I could have done something like that. So I think if I would go and do it again, I would probably not put so much time and effort into like uh, fixing a color more than just like creating a color, you know? Okay. That's good advice for people. Yeah. Um, cause, I, Cause this one, it was definitely like a fixing situation. So that took a lot of time. Now, did you, when you, did you realize going in that this show was going to be, I mean, I told you guys and we had the meeting and everything, um, that it was going to be on national television. And when you first saw it on like CNBC, which is a, you know, big station, did that trip you out a little bit? how did you feel about that? Yeah, I think I didn't believe you. I don't think that. <laughs> yeah, I, <didn't> lot, <laughs> I really didn't think that. Like, you're my buddy. Come on. <laughs> I just, I don't no, like I, I don't know. I just didn't think that it was going to be on TV. You know, I think, and then I think it took so long for it to actually be on TV that it was almost like I had forgot. You know, right. So it was a little weird, but I think knowing now that it was on TV, it's like, oh man, I should have like, you know, yeah. I should have wore a cuter outfit. I should have done my hair a little bit. Something. I should have. Yeah. Right? I mean, that's a yeah. lot. Of I should have been on a diet like two months before or something. I, I think, hey, honestly, you, I think it would be great, but I think that people should take this seriously because how yeah. awesome is this for your brand? For your totally. Brand? Yeah. Where are you going to get this opportunity? I mean, literally, where? I know. Doesn't exist. I know. And now the book's coming out, Denise. The, I know. I saw that. It's awesome. Very cool. I'm excited pages. about that. 200 pages. That's really awesome. Yeah. And we're going to send it, give it to the top. 30,000 salons in the United States. Very cool. I hope I get a copy. Oh, you will. Oh, always. Definitely. So yeah. <laughs> and then next season is we're starting to set the booking times for next season. So any advice, you know, since you're one of the OGs, you know, the originals, um, two people that are going to be on the show, give them your advice, Denise. Um, I would just say that uh, definitely like really take time to, like you said, just have a plan and have a, like a, a concept and just kind of show, like show people how, the magic behind the chair, you know, like, I think that's the most important thing of this whole thing is just showing people like what we do and that it's not 
taking a color and slapping it on someone's head. You know, it's like, there's a lot of, of, um, science behind it. And there's a lot of, um, you know, planning that goes into it. So yeah, that's my suggestion is just really try to like think outside the box and show people what you can really do. Cause it's a, it, when I was over, I was like kind of sad it was over. Cause I'm like, Oh man, like that's it. You know? So it's like, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. So, so make it worth it. Based on that, what was your overall experience? I mean, you said it once like you felt really good. What was your overall, how would you rate it as far as, you know, being on the show? How would you rate the experience? I just feel like it's not comparable to anything, you know? And I feel like it's like, if I were to go in and do it again, it would be a whole different experience, you know? So it's just, it was a good experience and I'm grateful that it happened. I feel like I wanted to like die before, you know, I was like I so nervous. And I felt like I, I was going to pass out, but. I was trying um, to make you guys laugh to help you, you know, to relieve the tension. I knew you guys. Yeah. So Ronnie was not, you were a little, I was a little worried about you. You were a little nervous. Today. He was super cool. Yeah. And I'm so grateful that I was on that episode with those two because like Jessica, I had met her before. And so I was comfortable. Like she was really cool and really nice. Yes. Um, and Ronnie was so nice. So I feel like had it been like someone that, you know, was a little bit more like not easygoing, I think that would have ruined it for me. But I think like them being so nice and so cool and like all the models were so cool that it's just easy, you know? And I feel like the whole like Goodbye. crew behind the camera was just, it was just cool. So I don't know. It was a good experience and it was a great experience and I'm grateful that it happened and I'm grateful that I can look back on it, you know? Well, so we couldn't have done it without you. And thanks so much for being, you know, having the guts to do that because you had probably one of the toughest situations of any of the contestants and you still did a great job. So you're kind of a unique case. So congratulations to you. And uh, if people want to see you, remember they have to go to www.hdpchallenge.com, subscribe. And then every time there's a new episode, we send it to you. I don't know if you've done that or not yet. You can watch all your stuff on YouTube. I think YouTube. so. Yeah. I think yeah, you're yeah. going to be, um, as far as, you know, the 18th, it's going to air again. Your show will air again on CNBC. And then an hour after that, if you subscribe, we'll send it to your phone via YouTube oh, okay. and then you okay. can just share it with everybody, which Very I think cool. that's great marketing for you. I think you should yeah. definitely do that. Okay. So, and then the book, it'll be coming out as soon as we get back to normal, you know, back to people going back to the salons and out of quarantine. Then that book comes out and that's super cool. I, think, I can't wait to give you your book. You're going to love it. You're going to really love it. I'm yeah. excited. All right, Denise. Well, thank you so much and we'll see you soon. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Bye. Have a good day. Bye. Okay. Bye.